G'day folks, welcome to this, uh, this video on opening moves from Barbarossa Army Group Center. This is the, the full campaign, scenario eight. We're all set up and pretty much ready to go. Now, turn one follows a, a bit of a modified sequence uh, of play. You, what do we do? We skip, we skip segment a, which is kind of the whole strategic segment, weather phase, replacements, reinforcements and all that. It's all kind of skipped. We go straight basically to the axis movement phase on turn one, but they skip their engineering phase with two brief exceptions. So what have I done? Okay, well, I've, I've reread through the rule book again. I've been taking copious notes. I have made myself a little kind of cheat sheet of common rules that I have either been misplaying or that I forget a lot. It's uh, four pages of these notes of rules. I've also placed the, the extra, I mentioned the in the previous video, the super heavy artillery units and a couple of other artillery units. Some of these went in their historical location. So there's a lot of German super heavy artillery in this area here. I think that's a good place because you can see one, two, you can't see with my arm in the way, but you can see one, two, three, four strong points surrounding that hex within range of that artillery. Um, they're close to Grodno as well. And then there are roads and rail kind of reaching out from that particular location. Um, uh, yeah, look, a lot of, there's some strong points down here at the bottom of the map, but this isn't a priority for the Germans. They want to push through Grodno, as I explained in the last video, push through here and then push up through here. So there are also additional optional um, placement artillery units around this area, around Brest. Part of the, the placement here is designed to reduce that um, citadel here, horrific hex to have to deal with. Part of it is also designed to push aside these strongholds and drive up and link up and pocket all these Russians in the center here. I don't know how active I'm gonna be out in the west. I mean, I don't really want the Russians to retreat in this area. In fact, there's not a lot of Germans that can attack along this area. This is where the bulk of those four formations are. This is where the big infantry divisions are as well um, so I don't think I think this whole area here will be pretty quiet in just a moment I think I'll take the camera off this big stand and I'll put it on the little tripod to get closer to these stacks so you can see kind of things in a little bit more detail but basically this is it this is um, boundary for armor group north and then the, the edge of the map is is down here uh, Pripyat marshes um, so yeah, this is going to be the main corridor of the advance. For now though, as I said, ready to go. I think we can uh, get the sequence of play out. And as I said, skipping this phase, going straight to the Axis player segment with the uh, Axis movement phase. Inspect enemy units, detach regimental subject counters. I don't want to do any of that just yet. Conduct ground movement. Crikey, where do we start? Where where do I start? I have so many charts and tables sitting behind me. Uh, so they're all ready to go. Terrain effects chart is going to be critical. Um, it's, it's here. I've got my summary of effects. All right, let's get this camera off this stand. And I'll set up the tripod and um, get a kind of a closer view of what's happening. Where do we start, north or south? That's the next question as well. Okay, so we're gonna kick things off down here in the south. We're just uh, above Brest here, and uh, first move is gonna try to move the, I think it's the 18th Panzer Division and the 17th Panzer Division across this river and try and figure out their, their next objective from there. So it's, um, the first thing we need to do is overrun this NKVD unit sitting in this hex to displace them out of the way to enable a second uh, Panzer division to come through. Now, um, you need at least five to one 
for overrun. If you can get up to six to one, um, you you don't suffer the plus two modifier. If you get to seven to one, you get a negative one modifier, and, and so forth. Um, it's it's an important die roll um, because this is uh, clearing this unit out of the way. If I don't clear them out of the way, I've got to stop right there and get no further. If I can clear them out of the way, it really should be all but guaranteed if I can get 10 to 1 odds. I think a Panzer Division can do that quite easily. Um, in fact, I think they can get 14 to 1 odds, which, yeah, guarantees success. So kick them out of the way using the entire Panzer Division. When you overrun and you succeed in overrun, you the, the active player, so in this case the Axis, gets to decide where those Russian units go, how they retreat to hexes, basically. It's different to combat retreats. So doing that, clearing these two units out, at least one, this should be guaranteed, this is a bit of a gamble, um, facilitates this stack coming through, and they're on a minor road there, so one, two, two and a half, and now we've got questions can't overrun here. We can try to bypass it, kind of come around here. Um, those woods are going to cost me three movement points to get into. So it's going to be one, two, three, two and a half, three and a half, four and a half, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're, out of, we're out of movement points. So it may be that the first combat takes place here against this stack. Um, and this just surrounds those Russian units in Brest and then we rely on 4th Panzer Division and 3rd Panzer Division in the south to somehow hook around, come through, pip pip marshes Ugh. I don't know how far can they go? down they could come this is way off camera but uh rely on these guys to come i don't know what to do come down over run here swing down i don't know what do they do in this area what do they do i think we'll cross that bridge when we can get to it for now um all right let's get across here 18th Panzer Division, moving as a stack with those guys. And they move. One, two, again, bridging unit negates the river, plus one for the strong point. One, two. Uh, actually, it's one, two for the strong point, three for the zone of control, ouch. And then here, four, five to overrun. Okay. So we've got five movement points. And they've got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eighteen to one. Fanatical NKVD unit, the first Soviet unit to uh, be attacked. Eighteen to one odds gives me a negative three dice roll modifier. I roll a ten, cracky. That is a result of seven narrowly successful. Um, wow, that was so close. Just checking other modifiers. Yeah, geez, so lucky. So we'll go one, two, throw those guys, those guys there. We'll move in there. That's five, I said. And then, actually, one, two, we'll push them up there. Five, uh, six, seven. That was expensive. And th then they're stopping there. Um, hmm, okay. Oh, I could, uh, six. They found a movement of six. I could take my reconnaissance unit and push them elsewhere but I think it's best to keep these guys together. Alright, now this this formation here. 
one, two, moving through here. Hmm. Three, four, five, six, seven for the zoning control. Um, yeah. So we'll have some combat there. Uh, they've only got a range of one. Rocket artillery. Can move three. Hmm, one, two. Ouch, they can't really get anywhere useful. I could go there, three, but uh, I'm trying to take this untried formation here. Surrounded by, oh, surrounded by lots of things. Maybe they could just cross the river here. One, two, yeah, that might be the better. Better option getting to this position here to attack here. Okay, uh, our supplies we're gonna throw them forward. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A loop. Artillery, 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 can't move these guys. Now in, um, in, I think it was Army Group South, the rule was that only only units on or adjacent or within a hex of the, the border could move on gain turn one. But I couldn't see, unless I've completely missed it, I could not see that rule in the special invasion preparedness. Um, Restrictions on Soviet movements, blah blah blah. Ra rail conversion, map exit, all this kind of stuff. Um, nothing that I can see. If I've missed it, let me know. That prevents the Germans, yeah, from moving throughout this area. Um, so what I'd like to do is take this infantry division and one, two. Three, four. All right, they're going to attack here, and they're bringing some rocket artillery with them. Like so. Oh, ah, I want to garrison this. Not garrison it, but um, move someone in there to be able to get rid of it. Um, maybe they. So they'll just stop their movement short. In hindsight, to occupy that to clear it out. Okay. All right. So now we're looking. I'm going to shift the camera down even further. Focus on this area south of Brest, and figure out how to get across and clear out a nice path. See the bridging unit moving forces across to there. They're out in the clear. Um, the third Panzer Division out of there, just so I can move them around. All right, there's a big stack there, that's good. Um, similar issues to before, do I move the fourth Panzer through first, clear the road for third Panzer, to be able to move further. Um, oh, they're, in a, they're in a marshy forest. What a horrific place to be. Uh, they're in a strong point in a town, which doesn't add much. Where do I go? Maybe attacking that, um, that marsh would let me hook around to the north here. Well, that's a long-term goal here. Getting Kobrin. What do they have? What the Soviets got here? Headquarters, AA, and supplies. So maybe attacking there, if I can get there. If I can get there. Um, 
I need to overrun, so whew, a lot to overrun. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have to do combat at the in the absolute best case scenario. I have to do combat. Um, maybe I send one division down here and then another division up here. Okay, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, actually, maybe it does. So these guys are in a strong point. They just say it's a plus one. They're probably the easiest to knock out. These guys are across a river. Uh, oh, and they're in a marsh. Uh, which doesn't it's in, it doesn't add any combat um, effects apart from supply and movement restrictions. The woods don't have anything either. So yeah, there should be two. Can't even get across here. So recalculating one. If this isn't here, that's been kicked out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, yeah, it's too expensive. Yep, so I think these are going to be the combat areas. Um, what I'll do is I'll send so one. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. I'll send fourth Panzer Division across first. So they're crossing the river here. Um, leaving these guys here for the time being. They are attempting an overrun. Again, they have negative three Dara modifier. That causes a step loss. We have our first Soviet casualty. And so that's one, two, three, Four to overrun, five, six, seven, and they'll be attacking there. Then we get the third Panzer Division. They're going to go one, two, three, four, five, uh, six to enter a zone of control. Oh, I forgot to place an overrun marker. On that unit. No zone of control. Defend with a negative one dice modifier. Um, other unit wiped out. So now we've got an overrun here. And defensive two. Um, six. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Twenty-two on two is eleven to one. I was just double checking my stacking, I'm right on stacking limitation. Eleven to one is gonna give me a negative two dice from modifier. So anything but a ten, a four. Is going to cause a step loss, second casualty. But that strong point does remain. Um, and I'm. I've got my cavalry here. You know, I might just move. Uh, move those guys in to remove that strong point. Actually, they, well, they all move in, so. <laughs> lost track of movement. So, uh, one. Two, three, four, five, and a half, six and a half back there for seven. I could advance a bit further if I wanted to with these guys. I could do an eight or an eight to help with this combat. Hmm. Tempting. Eight. Because now. I'm 
getting around that river. Ah, actually, no, it's not eight. My apologies. It'd be eight because um, minor roads, minor roads through the woods, pay one uh, movement point. I could, however, get my reconnaissance unit from here. That'd be eight nine. So just to recap, they went one, two, three, four, five, five and a half, six and a half to overrun, seven back to there. And this guy went eight, nine. And he'll join in that, uh, that combat as well. They're going to destroy the strong point. They're destroying the strong point. So that's the, um, the Panzer group done, I think. All right, now I'm trying to figure out all the other little bits and pieces down here. Okay, um, infantry will cross that. There's just a. I'm way down the bottom here. This is the southernmost unit here, edge of the map, just here. Um, they've just crossed the river and they will probably attack there. Um, All these cavalry units grouped in there. They look like they'll be attacking across that river. Um, let's get my supplies forward. So one, two, three, four, five. Don't think I, uh, I don't know if I, I don't know if I want to attack Brest head on yet. One, two, three, four, five. I can get this infantry to go one, two, three, four, five, and they will bring these guys with them. It's a fortified line there that they have to contend with. I think the infantry will stay there. These guys will stay there. The other, okay, that's gonna be important because I want to clear out that rail. So yeah, I've got... Ah. Oops. Consider the rail lines here. And it goes straight to the breast, so that's what I have to do. That's just a stack of artillery. This should be on the bottom, but... Um, see what we've got here. Got some engineers, AA, and a big infantry division um, facing off against that very big... I've got to attack it. Um, it has to be done. Slow going, very slow going at the start here. What do we got here? Infantry division. Alright. Two other formations. Um, I don't know what else to do around here. I don't know if it's worth getting these guys. One, two, three, four, five around here. Do I try to attack? I think I've got to try to attack breast. On the first turn. Um, you never know. You never, never know. A lot of artillery in this area uh, and free attack free attack supply on this first turn as well so I, I should have an attack. I should throw everything I can. Okay, um, infantry here. What are we going to do? Moving up to kind of this section. I think I'm going to leave everything else there. Uh, cavalry, cavalry. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, woods. 
What's for cavalry? Well, they're not um, they're not motorized. So it'd be one, two, three, four, four and a half, five and a half. Might be a good idea just to get them in there um, to try and surround. I wonder if I can surround this unit here, stop them retreating. Um, likewise, one, two, three for the river, four for the zone of control. It's a subtle little move, but it um, completely surrounds them by zones of control. And I've got this cavalry formation as well. Um, and they've got good movement rates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I could even brush them up ahead. Are they needed down here? I've got defensive two, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I think I might move these guys on because they're. I think they're better served way out in the open. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Off camera again. Sorry. So I've surrounded this unit with the zones of control. Seven, eight, nine. They might see how far through the, the marshes they can go. Ah, oh, no, it's not, it is 8-9, because yeah, it's a, it's a major road. You always pay half MPs in dry weather conditions. So sorry, I was surrounding this little area here. Um, I've just moved that cavalry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I like that. They're this kind of exploratory cavalry, seeing what they can find. Okay. Um, and I think, as I said, everything else around there is just going to stay put. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that's what's happening. Okay, so now over here, and I want to be able to clear out these areas. Um, so, how am I going to do that? I think these guys can take care of that. So one, two, three, four to move there. Um, these guys are going to be stuck attacking across the river. They do have some artillery behind them. I don't like these guys' chances of getting far. Untried unit there. Um, they might just have to hold for a turn. Uh, or maybe even if they can shift left, they can joining this attack here. These guys, what are we doing here? All right, well, this is the next step of the plan, or the next kind of area for consideration. Um, as I said, I don't really want to attack into that kind of bulge. I want to attack around it. So I kind of want to bring these units down out here. If I can get an attack on that, would be good. One, two, three. No, I can't. Um, one, two, because I go across that river. Three, four, five. I could do that. I could do that. One, two, three, just something simple. Artillery can just shift down. Some engineers here, which would be helpful. Right there. Um, one, two, three, four, five. They've got very weak defense, so I don't want to leave them out by themselves. And then we'll bring this infantry up. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, jeez, I can absolutely smash this, uh, this formation. I think I'll do that. I'll try and focus my infantry around through here. So one, two, 
three, four for the river, five for the zone of control. Okay. Now, um, okay, well this is where there's a rail line to be alley stock, and I don't, I'm not, I don't really want to worry about it too much, to be frank. Um, I'd rather kind of shift around. I kind of want to push through here, but I just can't. It's maybe I will. Maybe I'll give it a go. I can throw four. T I can throw a lot of artillery in there. If I throw all that artillery into that attack, so if I shift them there, get an attack on there. It's across the river, in a strong point. Ugh, okay. Whoa. I just can't get much other support. Because, yeah, rail through here, it'd be good to advance that um, as an early rail advance. Okay, so... Um, one, two, I don't know. Try and attack across the river on the strong point. Seems risky. Maybe just moving... One, two, three, four, to there. And then this is an interesting hex surrounded by rivers. Another rail area, defensive two. Yeah, I mean, two mines here. This weak Russian defense along the frontier here but I don't really want them to retreat anywhere what I do want to do is get these guys and they're gonna go one two three four five six seven I want to push them into sort of more open areas um oh geez and they've got engineers here as well Engineers that I don't want to use, which is interesting. Um, okay. Big infantry division out here. These guys. One, two, three. One. Two, three, I can't make it. One, two, three, four. Okay. One, two, three, four. One and a half. I think we just have to at least test that undried unit and see what they've got. Um, as I said, free attacks on this first turn. Uh, security unit will just advance to there, not to attack, just to be there. Um, and yeah, look, that's the southern half of of operations. Um, might stop the recording there because we have to somehow shift around to. To cover the north half of all this but uh here we go that's our opening move uh opening overruns um two regiments of soviet losses thus far in overruns two out of the three attempted not bad uh yeah i guess i'll report back soon on on the details i might um yeah figure out what to do in the north have a think about it all right folks thanks and take care